The special delivery has just come in, Red Star, and if we lift it up here, it's Saskia, who's two. Lots of love and kisses. Oh, a sink plunger from Mummy and Daddy and Sophie as well. Happy birthday! Okay, now here's Wobble from Playdays He's doing a bit of juggling today. Whoa, my goodness, he's getting as good as Dave Benson Phillips here, but not that good because he's about to drop it. No! Happy birthday to oh, Kirsty, who's four, and this comes with lots of love from your sister Gemma, who's over here, and Mummy and Daddy as well. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, all those. Now, I'm not really, a, I'm not really a Thomas the Tank Engine anorak, and I'm not sure who these engines are, but I think this one at the bottom here is Jay. Anyway, if I'm wrong, don't rush in the fun. Happy birthday, Richard, you're five today. Lots of love from your brother Peter, who's up here. And also, Sister Hannah sends you lots of love, and Mummy and Daddy as well. Happy birthday to you. Now we've got an Aladdin card, another Aladdin card. Now we've got to rub the lamp. Can you rub your hands together as if we were rubbing the lamp? Oh, excellent. Okay, and whoosh, out comes the genie. Hello, Aladdin. <laughs> Happy birthday, Samuel. There you are, your five today. Thank you, genie, and the birthday. Lots of love to Mummy and Daddy and Sister Grace as well. Uh-huh. Happy birthday. Lots of love to you. Here comes Mr. Blobby with something on his trolley. Mr. Blobby and his trolley. And in it today we've got Rosie, who's not asleep. Wake up. Lots of love your three. From Mummy and Nanny, Grandad David and Lindsay and Jonathan and Sharon as well. Good to you, little girl. Lots of love to you. Here's Hope back again. I don't believe it. Lots of love to you, Samuel Smith, your two. Lots of love. Also, a big happy birthday to Polly from your grandpa as well. I'll see you at two for Williamswood Wellington and also Sean at the Frog. Say goodbye, Noddy. Bye bye. From flying fleas to wobbling the worm, the fun packed barnyard frenzy. Bye. A mad selection of chicken challenges face the teams as they suck it out through quick fire questions and difficult challenges. Excitement! Thursday at 3.55 on Children's CBC. Farm Tactics. Well, the art of making portraits now on CBC2 with a little bit of expert help from Pablo Canto. Under this 
Again, what colours can you see? Colours of skin, pale and dark. Colours of eyes, brown and blue. Colours of hair, black, yellow and red. What are the colours of you? Look, look, I look again. What can you see? Move around. Around and about, get down on the ground, not really small. See how high he looks, see how tall. Away up high, looking down from the sky. What's that big at the top of his head? Look, look, and look again. What can we see? We all have our own ways of looking. So there you are. Everybody sees things in their own special way. Quite right. Who said that? Oh, me, Pablo Picasso. Come on in and find out about me. I was born in another country called Spain about a hundred years ago. I began to draw and paint when I was... Uh, same age as you are. Look, there are some pictures I did of my family. Uh, this is my sister Lola. I drew her a lot. Uh, here's my father. Uh, you can see, I painted him from the side. Uh, this is my mother. And my aunt Peppa. But one person I drew and painted all my life was me. I painted a lot of people over the years. When I painted sad people, I used the color blue. But when I painted happier people, I used brighter colors. One day, I had a wonderful idea. Why should I always paint people the way they looked? Why not try something new? I began by, uh, by moving around people as I painted them, uh, looking at them from different places. Um, watch. This way. Hmm? Uh, this way, you can only see one side of my face. Hmm? This is my profile. Now you can just see the back of my head. Uh, this way you can see my two eyes, but I'm turned away from you. And from here you can see my whole face clearly. And I decided to put all these different faces together and make one new face. See what happened. Look, here are some paintings where I did this. Why don't you try and do what I did? You could get some photos of different people from magazines, uh, cut out parts of their faces, uh, their eyes, their noses, their mouths, and uh, stick them all together to make a new face. Use your imagination. Good luck. Thanks, Senor Picasso. And now, it's color time. What's the color this week? It's red. 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 red! 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 What do you think of when you think of red? 
Red is a beautiful sunset. Red is me when I'm hot. Red attracts people's attention. Red is a traffic light. Stop! Strawberries are red. And so are red roses. Red is red hair. And also red noses. Red is all around us. How many reds can you spot? You can make different reds by mixing red with other colours. Watch. A little bit of red with a lot of white. A lot of red with a little bit of black. And now for the magic bit. Watch what happens when you mix red with blue. How many colours can you make from red? red. Patricia makes people. Hello. I made this. And this. And these. And this. I'm going to make a new figure today, and it's someone I know very well. I always draw my ideas first to see how they work. First I'm using newspaper to roll up tubes. I lay the tubes on the ground in the shape of the figure that I want to make and fasten them together with tape. I'm going to put the head on later. Now I'm thinking about the shape of the body. It'll be too thin if I leave it as it is, so I'm fixing newspaper round to give it more shape. The figure needs to be really strong or it will fall apart, so I'm using string to hold it together. Now for the hands. I make the head shape out of paper and wire. Then I fasten it to the body. I wear gloves for this because the wire's sharp. I'm using wire to make it even stronger. Now I'm dipping strips of material in a bucket of cement. I'm using cement because it's very hard and strong, so the figure can be kept outside and won't be worn away by the weather. When the cement's gone hard, I can start putting the clothes on. Now what will my figure wear? A floppy hat? A pretty top? And a skirt? I'm dipping the clothes in wet cement. Then I put them on. She's looking quite like a human being. She needs some hair now, and that's easy. I dip string in cement and stick it on. The last thing to do is the hat. I cover the hat with cement too. That's it, she's ready. Did you guess who she is? It's me. Bye. You can make your own portrait. What's a portrait? It's a picture of a person or more than one person. Can you make a portrait of yourself? You certainly can. It's called a self-portrait. Off we go. Take a line for a walk. Mix up some colours. And don't forget solid material. I've been copying off myself, but I've been looking in the mirror to do it. And I have done it mostly in brown, and there's a bit of yellow in it. 
We're drawing each other. This is my mum, and she's wearing the clumpy shoes, and she's wearing the same clothes that she's got today. Clay feels all squadgy and soft. I'm making a head out of clay. Shoulders. Head. resource pack to accompany this series and for further details please ring 0181 746 1111. The theme is landscapes in next week's watch at the same time on BBC Two when you can find out how to transform a collection of humble tea bags into a work of art. A familiar face in fact